Okay, so in this lesson, let's show some love to our brothers and sisters using Windows. Uh, Windows is great. It's a great platform. It's just one I'm not incredibly familiar with. Uh, but over the past couple months, I ended up buying a couple PCs for some streaming things. So I now have the ability to do demos and show you how to do things on PC. Albeit these computers are very uh, not incredibly powerful. The particular ones I bought, not a Windows machine. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to set this up. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a virtual MIDI driver on PC, on a Windows PC. I'm going to be using Loop BE1, which is a completely free solution and a great solution. Uh, if you're looking for a virtual MIDI driver on uh, Windows. Now, I've linked to the, the link to download Loop BE1 in the material section of this lesson, so make sure you check that out. Now, I went ahead and already installed Loop BE1, which is uh, an incredibly simple process. And what you end up with once you install it is basically this little system tray icon. Uh, it says Loop BE1 internal MIDI port. If you open that, double click to open that, um, it's basically just going to give you an option to mute MIDI, which is like in case you have a MIDI feedback loop, you can mute it. Okay. Um, now I'm going to go into Ableton Live here, click to open that up. Um, and this is uh, incredibly easy to do. Sorry, that's my computer glitching out a little bit because of Team Viewer. Uh, but let's get this open. I'm going to go to the options menu here for preferences. And again, this is insanely simple to set up. I think it's even easier than, uh, than on Mac. But on the input side for Loop BE1, uh, loop BE internal MIDI. I want to enable remote. And again, the reason we're doing this is we want to be able to remotely control uh, Ableton Live uh, from this internal uh, MIDI setup. Okay. And then on the output side, loop BE internal MIDI, we want to enable track. Now, the important thing here is making sure that any of our tracks that are set up uh, to use uh, the IEC driver, or in this case, loop BE1, that we kind of mimic a similar setup here and do MIDI output to loop BE internal MIDI, and then we do channel 16, okay? And if we're able to do that, then basically everything that we did over on the Mac side is going to transfer over to the Windows PC setup for that. So open your template up on Windows, um, make sure you have your Loop BE1 set up, and then you're going to have to go through each of those tracks to enable and select uh, Loop BE internal MIDI. Uh, set it to channel 16, and then you're good to go. Now, one of the things that's really important, I mentioned this in the Mac video as well too, you only need to do this one time. So uh, on every new Windows machine that you get, you will have to install Loop BE1. You will have to make sure preferences are set up properly in Ableton Live, but it's not like you need to do this every single time you open your file. And we're really only doing this with our template and then we're able to build and do everything else uh, from there uh, with the work we did in that template. So that's a look at how to install Loop BE1, our virtual MIDI driver solution on a Windows PC.